Hello Libra, welcome to your Aries season general reading. So let's get started with your reading. This is going to be general Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aries. Let's see what we have for your overall energy from Spirit, overall energy for Aries. Let's see what we have. Blossoming, ooh la la, what are you growing? Well, it's growing season, right? Spring is springing. The spring equinox is here. You are blossoming, Aries. Let's look and see. This is the fairy oracle card. This will tell us the energies of what is good or what is ill, or as I like to call it, the magic or the mayhem that will happen in this month. Let's see what that energy is. So the overall energy of magic and mayhem for our beautiful Libra friends. The gift, well that is magic. I love it when it's magic. So the gift, you're going to receive a gift and you are blossoming. Let's see what the overall energy for the outcome card is. What are the oracle? This is a destiny card, sacred destiny. What is your destiny at this time? in space and time and the magic time of a new season, a new astrological new year. Leadership, Airy, excuse me, Libra. Aries is on your seventh house. So we have leadership. You are going to be given a leadership role. You're going to take leadership very seriously right now. All right. So let's see what the advice of spirit is for you at this time. The advice of spirit. For our beautiful Libra friends, advice of spirit for Libra. Vulture, nothing is wasted. All right, so your advice is waste not, want not. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the overall uh, card reading is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out all the cards, and then we will clarify or clarify them on the table shot. You'll see it. I think you're going to like it. Okay. So let's see what the energy is here. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. Nice. So very relationship oriented. Uh, okay. Those are your blessings. Seven of Wands. You're chatting with somebody about something serious. Oh, the magic. Temperance. You're going to come to an agreement. You're going to work something out that you want after really feeling sad. Five of coins. So the mayhem is it looks like somebody left you in the cold or you feel left in the cold. Somebody that you really care about. We'll talk about that card in detail because it's more of a spiritual card. It usually isn't truly abandonment, although, you know, sometimes it can be. Okay, five of swords. So there is a little bit of mayhem here that I, I, but I like the overall energy is that you are going to receive a gift. So there is a hidden gift in all of this for you. All right, so let's see what we have here for your outcome. Cut outcome energy before we clarify. Let's see. Ooh, two of coins. What are you going to be juggling, Libra? Well, Libra likes to juggle. The scales of justice. Let's see. Ooh, juggling job offers. It looks like you have two offers of something, either job, love, or money coming in. Looks like it could be either, could be both. Ah, uh, like I said, it could be both. <coughs> Excuse me. A little spring allergy, right? Okay. Spirit is recommending and advising you to stay in the fight, to fight for what you believe in, be cool, calm, and collected, use your intellect, be cagey, be cagey, be smart, be very um, strategic is what it's saying. So what, that's what Spirit is telling you, is to be very strategic with that Aries energy. Throw caution to the winds. Okay. So very interesting reading. Let's get into the details of this and we're going to give you the table shot. There. Okay. So I love doing that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's, what are these blessings for Libra? What are the blessings for Libra? What are the blessings? Tell us what this blessing is, Spirit. Please tell us about this blessing for Libra. 
But overall, you have romance. You have deep levels of friendship. You have the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups, which can tell you that you might get an offer of engagement. You may have a lover return with temperance or you start to work out a difficulty after an argument with a lover. That's what this looks like to me. This looks very career oriented also. I feel as though you're in this period of time in which a lot of activity is going to be given to the seventh house of Aries, which is going to be working out differences with a partner. Uh, it looks like there could be some money challenges here, juggling. I feel like Vulture Spirit is really telling you to be strategic. You know, yes, you can take a chance on something, but be in the fight, you know, really reserve, you know, be very careful with your money or else you could come up short. There is something unfair about some sort of challenge that you have in your life right now, but with this beautiful gift energy, it speaks to the fact that it will all work out with temperance. When we look at the energy of leadership, so you're going to be chosen most likely to actually be a leadership, be a leader in some aspect of your career, coins, coins, and marriage. So you could be a leader in a relationship, but you can also be a leader in which you would be promoted and there would be a celebration. When we get the advice of spirit, again, it's, you know, very much, it's like be strategic about throwing caution to the wind. Pick your battles very carefully. You cannot waste anything. Don't waste your energy. So the blessing is coming in here is some passionate, passionate, passionate um, communication. It's something that you're excited about. It's something intellectual that you've wanted to happen for a long time. I feel as though you may get flown to an interview, which seems really crazy at this point in our history, but it looks as though you move forward rapidly to some sort of goal. I'm getting with that King of Swords, that's an accomplishment uh, indicator. Uh, it really says that you didn't know whether this was going to happen or not, and it does. So whatever it is that you've been fighting for, whatever it is that you really have wanted to have in your life, whether it be a romance, whether it be a friendship, it looks as though you have really come out victorious. This is the card of blessings. Why is a Knight of Cups here? You've manifested also some new love, possibly new love, could be somebody who returns, but you definitely have manifested this. You really want this and it's happening. So you have this beautiful blessing. For some of you, it will be career oriented. It'll be relationships and friends helping you in that way to manifest. But for others of you, it'll be simply making a choice in a relationship situation. It could be a friend confessing their love for you also. So when we get the Three of Cups, you may have the surprise. Yep, here we got a soulmate card. <laughs> so we have Gemini energy here. So it does look like, you know, this is this aspect of the current energy is that you feel as though you had, you probably had an argument with somebody and it looks like it's coming all together. It looks like your person returns very rapidly and they want to make up from a breakup or what appears to be at least a bad fight or disappointment. Okay, so what's the gift? What do we have as a gift here for our beautiful Libras? What is the gift here in this reading? We have four of wands. We have the four of wands. The gift may be an engagement ring. All right, three of cups again. Oh my gosh, it fell out just as I pointed at this card the, the uh, Three of Cups and the Three of Cups with an uh, with Ace of Pentacles is an engagement. All right, so why do we have temperance? This looks like it's turning into a love reading. It looks like the two of you had a falling out. You felt your person was being very careless, but we have Four of Wands, Four of Wands, classic indicator of marriage, honeymoon, celebration. I do feel as though you are having a victory in your work life. I feel as though money is going to grow in abundance. I feel that many of you are getting both engaged and or um, 
but probably both. Changing careers or at least getting a promotion. The Four of Swords, you had, it was a very bad falling out. It looks like your person really wasn't taking the relationship seriously, but now they are because we're getting the Five of Swords clarified by somebody who moves slowly, you know, this Knight of Pentacles. The Four of Swords says that you were very wounded. I feel as though this person was very careless with your feelings and they are going to profess to you that they love you. It looks as though they have been looking at themselves and thinking about their part in any disagreement. When we look at your outcome card, or your, um, yes, your outcome card is leadership. So you allowed the situation to unfold. You were willing to go out. You said to this person, okay, if we're not on the same page, if you're not as invested as I am in the basic reading, then I'll go ahead. I guess we could go ahead and date other people. You defended yourself. This person manifested you back <laughs> and they decided that they didn't want Libra going out and dating others is what I'm seeing here. It's kind of like, oh no, that's a very bad idea, Libra. I can't believe these are turning into love readings. And Leo energy, you may be dealing with a Leo. Let's see, why do we have the Four of Wands here? Fire sign energy, Aries energy. That's your seventh house of marriage. Look at this, Two of Swords, you don't see it coming. You do not see this coming, Libra. I don't think that you are going to be totally shocked by this. You're taking a leadership role, but you, you know, you really, you don't see it coming. I like it. It's kind of a fun surprise. A new beginning in a relationship where egos are toasted. We see this new beginning. You don't have the energy to fight like this. You're being very strategic. You're following spirit's advice. It shows that you want to invest in somebody who invests in you and you are not going to settle for anything less. We have this beautiful Cancerian energy. You want home and hearth. You want an emperor energy, somebody who's very serious, somebody who wants the same stability you do. And that is, again, Aries, the seventh house for you. Again, your seventh house of marriage is lit up. You know, what we're seeing here is spirit is saying that even if you were hurt <clears throat> in the past, to throw caution to the winds, and basically spirit is saying, put up with nothing. If there's any toxic energy, trust yourself. That's why you're throwing caution to the winds. You don't have to be afraid. You just have to trust yourself that if this person is pulls a rug out from underneath you or is going to be dis... Uh, what do you call that? Well, if they're going to bring a tower moment in because they're trying to control the narrative, don't be controlling because that will create a crisis. And your person, what Spirit is saying is don't let anybody bring any toxic energy in. Don't let anybody else cause a crisis. The reason you can throw caution to the winds is you've learned all the lessons you need to learn about what you want and you're going to stand by this relationship and your goals in life, you're going to stick to what you want. Nobody's going to be able to get anything over on you. You're not going to experience any more loss. It be, what we're seeing here is a tremendously successful, it looks like rebirth of an old relationship. Libra, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Sending you love. I'm so grateful. I hope to see you in another video soon, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.